This place is absolutely stunning. Such a good, beautiful vibe as soon as you walk in. Then you go into your other room. You've got a big old stage where you have, you know, for Christmas, you got Santa Claus there. You got bands come in and you do Mother's Day, Father's Day events. Uh, we use it for a lot of uh, community events, like to just give back to the community. We do like pictures and gift bags and stuff for kids. And then um, we'll have like a Easter bunny here. We'll have, we do all kinds of stuff for uh, any holidays. We have cookouts and car shows and bike shows and tattoo contests and stuff. So. I do pretty much exclusively black and gray realism. Animals or portraits, family members, anything I can come up with that surrealistic. I just love doing pretty much anything realism, for sure. He's actually done all of my tattoos, which is awesome. I'd probably trust him with my life, so definitely check him out. I'm just a coffee lover, and I love plants, so, you know, just wanted a combination of both. I love that you're doing flowers. I absolutely love flower tattoos, and I think it takes a certain type of artist to be able to, to do that, especially with the intricate fine lines that you're out here doing. Art's uh, been a passion of mine since I was young. Um, I love it. You guys have got a really cool little mini bus. You've got a giant trailer that you take around and tattoo people and go to all the different shops and sell some grade A merch to the other tattoo shops. I mean, are you guys actually driving around while you're tattooing? I mean, the driver better make sure that there ain't no potholes present. I wish we could drive around. No, we don't drive. We're stationary. We, we set up. It'd be awesome, though. We've done shows where, you know, Buck Cherry's playing outside and you know, big name concerts and we're tattooing to that music, so it's a pretty good experience. No way, you're not going to believe this, Scout, but I actually opened up for Buck Cherry at the State Fairgrounds a few years ago. It was awesome. I was like, yes, and I uh, got to meet them. They're super dope people, so that's cool that maybe you were there at that thing. I mean, I don't know. We definitely could have crossed paths. Uh, my experience has been great. This is my third time with RJ, and I'm the third family member to be tattooed by RJ, so we love him. Art's always been my thing, and it doesn't even really matter what medium. I just like creating stuff. I'm going to blame it on my mom. Her favorite thing to get me to be quiet was here's a pen and paper and roll out. Terrell, you understand the value of the free apprenticeship here because when you were starting out, you weren't really aware of that. Everybody told me 8,000, 10,000, 12,000, 15,000, and I'm like all up front, and they're like, yeah, and I'm like, ooh. One dude told me to go take out a loan, and I was like, ah, man, I don't even know if a bank would approve me for that. You talk about take out a loan for an apprenticeship, if I tell them it's for tattoos, they'll be like, nah. Nah, we're not giving you that, but the fact that they offer it here for free and it's a lot of resources that you can use to help push your artwork to another level before you start tattooing, that is a big plus and I do like that. Yeah, so it was like you got to do like 13 flash sheets and then on top of that you got to like do 30 tattoos after you're done with the flash sheets from the drawings that you did. I love your style, by the way. It's very radical, and you do you do lots of stuff, right? You do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my style is very radical. Uh, it's a radical, dude. <laughs> I come from a long line of artists in my family, for the most part. I wanted to go to school for architecture, and then I was like, oh, maybe I should buy a cheap machine off of online. I messed around, tattooed myself, mistake. And then, I mean, I ended up here. This is my sixth tattoo with Marley. Um, her attention to detail with uh, words, fine font, intricate details, uh, it's what keeps me coming back. I took it upon myself as I, when I got promoted to head apprentice that I noticed that this is just more than a shop. This is like our, our like home base for all of us. It's like the hub for the whole city. And um, I want people to come in here and know for a fact that they see it's clean, no dust. It's just more than drawing. Like I'm helping learn how to operate and sanitize the whole business. Uh, getting to greet every client who is getting a tattoo or a piercing, I hope they feel my excitement for them because I just really love all the tattoos and piercings that everyone gets. I'm so grateful for my apprenticeship where I can call myself a true artist and not just a doodler. I feel truly blessed to get to work in an environment like this and learn from such great artists that we have here at Mystic Images Tattoo. Is there something specific that you like to draw? My favorite of all time is neo-traditional. I cannot wait to start focusing on that. I love bold lines and vibrant colors. I can't wait. Oh, look at your little guy. He's so cute. I love him. I want to squish him. Oh, he's so cute. And you got your cupcake. Yes, your tattoos are delicious. I love them with the little ghost. They're so girly and cute. Your little angry block. I love it. <laughs> it's always a good day to get a new tattoo.